Korea and China have agreed to enhance economic cooperation to expand bilateral trade to $200 billion by 2010. The National Olympic team has returned home to a hero's welcome in downtown Seoul. Distributors and provincial governments are working together to enable direct transactions for specialties. Hello and welcome to KBS World News Today. It's Tuesday, the 26th of August. President Lee myung bak and Chinese President Hu Jintao have agreed to further promote bilateral cooperation and exchanges in economy, security and defense. The two leaders held their third summit in Seoul Monday. President Yi and Chinese President Hu have discussed consolidating a strategic partnership. To that end, they'll increase the frequency of visits between high-ranking officials of the two countries, as well as launching regular dialogue between diplomats. Senior defense officials will also be encouraged to hold talks, and a military liaison system will be created. The two leaders have also agreed to expedite the implementation of North Korea's second phase of denuclearization. President Yi also asked Hu not to have his government deport North Korean escapees back to the north. The presidential office in Seoul held a grand state dinner for the visiting Chinese president. Seoul apparently wants to smooth out bilateral relations that have taken a hit and ease anti-Korean sentiment in China. Hu also showed his willingness to improve bilateral ties by choosing Seoul as his first overseas destination after the end of the Beijing Olympics. Korea and China have agreed to enhance economic cooperation to expand bilateral trade to $200 billion by 2010. The two sides will try to expand their ties to beyond economy and politics. Trade between Korea and China last year reached $145 billion U.S. dollars. The leaders of the two countries have agreed to raise the figure to $200 billion by 2010. To that end, trade and investment will be bolstered to reinforce cooperation in finance, communication, energy and other fields. Memorandums of understanding have been signed in five fields, such as energy conservation, cutting-edge technology, and trade and investment information. Specific plans have been drawn up for cooperation in these fields. President Yi also wants a Korean firm to participate in the construction of nuclear power plants in China. Both sides will also work together to successfully host World Expos in Shanghai and Yosu over the next four years. The two leaders will also consider starting bilateral free trade talks, which have been studied by industrial, government and educational institutes. The number of people going on human exchanges between both countries is 6 million per year. Seoul and Beijing have agreed to raise that figure by simplifying visa procedures. The National Olympic team has returned home to a hero's welcome in downtown Seoul. The athletes parade down the street on foot in the heart of the capital city. The National Olympic team has made a triumphant return from Beijing getting a grand parade in central Seoul. The 267 athletes marched behind a giant national flag. Thousands of citizens greeted them with enthusiastic applause. The most popular athletes in this Olympics among Koreans were male swimmer Park Tae-hwan and female weightlifter Chang Mi-ran. The nation threw a big party for the athletes. Tens of thousands of citizens celebrated and congratulated the team for a better than expected performance in Beijing.
Badminton player Lee Young Dae jokingly explained the wink he made after winning the gold medal. 아니 연습한 건 아니고요. 일단 네. 사생활에서 나왔던 게 이렇게 카메라 보고. <웃음> <웃음> The event was an opportunity for Koreans and their Olympic athletes to share the exciting memories of the Beijing Olympics. Olympic archers Park Young Mo and Park Sung Hyun have made headlines out of the sports arena. They will be the country's first Olympic gold medalist married couple. Archers Park Young Mo and Park Sung Hyun are expected to get married late this year. The two each won a gold medal in the team competition in the Beijing Olympics, as well as the silver in the individual competition. 경기 일정을 보고 그런 다음에 아마 나를 잡을 것 같습니다. 뭐 저희 이쁜 사랑하게끔 많이 좀 이쁘게 봐주십시오. The two kept their distance from each other at the disbanding ceremony, but could not hide their affection for each other. 마음 고생이 너무 많았었는데 무사히 잘 마치고 와서. 너무너무 고맙고 대견스럽고 Korea has seen many athletes marry each other but Parks are the first Olympic gold medalist to do so While preparing for the Olympics the two had kept their relationship secret to prevent it from affecting training The two say they secretly cheered each other in the Olympics and will soon start a new life together A Korean Taekwondo coach has become a national celebrity in Thailand Choi young suk has led the Thai Taekwondo team to a silver medal at the Beijing Olympics. Thailand had also won a medal in the 2004 Athens game under his guidance. A welcoming party was held for the Thai Olympic team. The team won four medals including two golds in weightlifting, Taekwondo and boxing. Medalists have become national stars in Thailand. The silver winning Taekwondo practitioner Puet Pong Butri has attracted the most attention. The 17-year-old high schooler unexpectedly won a medal and made her countrymen proud. <laughs> Thais have praised their Taekwondo team coach Che Young Sok, who guided young Thais with no international experience. The Thai media and sports organizations have also applauded Che for a strong leadership. 선수들이 절 많이 믿고 따라주고요. 그리고 선수들 자체도 다 모두들 아주 열심히 하고 최선을 다해서 뭐뭐 열심히 지도한 것보다 선수들이 열심히 해서 뭐 이렇게 지금까지 좋은 결과가 있었던 것 같습니다. Chess contract with Thailand has expired. He's receiving a stream of coaching offers from other Southeast Asian countries. Thai media say they hope Chess stays, adding he deserves extraordinary treatment. Consumers can get cashback points from October to pay for public transportation or electricity bills when purchasing high energy efficient appliances. This is the government's first policy to encourage the public participation in reducing greenhouse gases and achieving green growth. The city skyscrapers and factories endlessly emit carbon dioxide and greenhouse gases. Prevention of global warming and green growth are world issues. A new policy will raise public participation in reducing carbon dioxide emissions. Under the low carbon cashback system, consumers who buy high energy efficient electronic products get carbon points. These points are usable for paying for public transportation fares, electricity bills, and cultural activities. Existing OK cashback cards will be used to accumulate the points. The public response to this is quite positive. 전력 소비량이 낮은 모델을 선택하게 되는 경우가 많습니다. 거기에 포인트를 더한다면 고객들은 더 전력 소비량이 낮은 모델을 많이 선택하실 겁니다. The low carbon cashback points will be given for 43 types of products including TVs, refrigerators and vacuum cleaners. A buyer will get 1% of the product's price as points. The key to the system is public participation and production of the sufficient points to attract consumers. The government from next month will receive applications from firms wishing to take part in the system. Implementation will begin in October. Distributors and provincial governments are working together to enable direct transactions for specialties or giving them their own brand names. 
Such measures are helping cut distribution costs and in return resulting in lower consumer prices and reviving provincial economies. This large discount store in Seoul has added original Jeonju spicy mixed rice or bibimbap to its item list. North Chola province, where the dish originates from, has approved the quality. Other specialties include sauces and wild grape wine. 전라북도의 우수한 제품을 대도시 소비자들한테 친환경 제품을 소개해서 팔로 개척을 하는 데 목적이 있습니다. Major discount stores are signing contracts with provincial governments to offer regional cuisine to customers. One store says sales of specialty products with their own brand labels have shot up over the past year. An online shopping mall is also getting a good response from consumers after teaming up with civic groups to sell high-quality products from small provincial producers. The mall is seeing double-digit growth every month and saw sales grow nearly 60 percent in June. 농촌에 있는 특산물을 만들고 있는 기업들은 이런 유통 판로를 찾아내기가 많이 어렵습니다. 그렇기 때문에 이런 지자체라든가 뭐 비영 단체들이 함께 공동 협력을 해서 그런 대형 마트나 유통 채널로 입점을 하게 되면 상호 윈윈할 수 있는 좋은. High quality regional specialties sold through distributors are emerging as a new alternative for reviving provincial economies. Consumer spending patterns are gradually changing with the surge in inflation. More people are using debit cards as a means to spend their money more wisely. This man replaced his credit card with a check card early this year. Using a check card prevents a consumer from overspending by restricting spending to the amount in his or her account. 카드처럼 제가 한도를 알지 못하는 범위 내에서 무분별한 소비를 했을 때 오는 그런 어떤 리스크를 체크 카드는 최대한 줄여줄 수가 있는 거죠. Rising inflation and stagnant income have promoted the use of check cards. Check cards in the first half of the year were used an average of 1.8 million times and posted daily transactions of 62 million U.S. dollars. Both the volume and amount were up 42 percent year on year. The number of check cards issued also went up 35 percent to nearly 47 million in June. More young people are using check cards as the card's benefits are similar to those offered by credit cards. 과거의 그 체크 카드는 학생이라든지 신용 불량자를 대상으로 한 그런 상품 위주였으나 최근에는 계획된 소비를 하려는 사회 전반의 그 고객층으로 범위가 넓어졌기 때문이라고. The rising use of check cards has reduced the share of credit cards in the use of all credit or debit cards to 85%. Summer vacation is over and it's time for kids to go back to school. Preparing school supplies could be a burden at times like this. Here are some useful tips for making used items into something completely new. These are shoes students wear inside school. They get dirty easily and are easy to clean. Decorating these plain looking shoes is popular these days. You can design your own classroom shoes by painting anything you want with fabric paint. This middle school student is drawing in her favorite flower. The plain white shoes now have pretty flower patterns. 친구들이 가지고 있지 않고 저만 가지고 있는 거에서 더 좋은 것 같아요. Pasting on pattern toilet paper is as easy as a piece of cake, even for elementary school students. The once dirty school shoes have become unique works of art. How about giving some change to old school bags? This marketplace in Seoul has various mending shops. This man says he has mended bags here for 40 years. A worn-out backpack is cut and new leather is sewed on. Old bags that are out of trend can be reborn into completely new styles with just a little change. Old worn-out leather can be renewed by dyeing. The old bag strap is replaced with a new one. And a little stylish accessory is added to finish the new look. 
It only costs about nine to twenty-eight dollars to give an old bag a makeover. The renewed bags look like they can be used for another ten years. Now, here are some ways to reuse scrap paper. First, tear up leftover notebook paper and mirror carbon paper with the plastic peeled off into little pieces, and soak the torn bits in water seven or eight times the amount of paper. Then grind it all up. You can even add some color by putting in some pieces of color paper. Use a specific frame to shape the pulp, and get rid of as much of the moisture as you can with a dry towel. Then let it sit to dry. When it's all dry, you have a one-of-a-kind paper with a unique texture. Here's a way to make a new notebook out of old ones using cardboard paper. Cut cardboard to match the size of notebook paper, and punch holes into them. Tie them together with string and decorate the cardboard cover. How about trying out some of these recycling tips for the new school semester? Here are today's economic indicators and the weather. That's it for this edition of KBS World News today. Have a nice day and thank you for watching.